survivor of the, there was an African American older gentleman that was a survivor of uh, the so called riot here in Tulsa who uh, had been blinded in that process and had tried to uh, somehow had been dispersed and escaped and, and uh, lived, I don't know how many years, some years on their family's land, uh, blind, unable to do full work, but assisted in the ways that he could, uh, drawing water and, and uh, things like that. Um, and I guess what I'm, I'm struck with and, and pleased to hear this discussion is, you know, this important relationship between the uh, African American and Native American communities so that all of the discussion is not constantly dominated from kind of a Anglo-centered, you know, uh, Euro-American, African-American, Euro-American, Native American, Euro, you know, all of these side, all of these straight conversations from the uh, presumed uh, predominating center. And I just think it's so important to have those side conversations, uh, particularly I think about the important uh, long history of connections with um, Native Americans and, and African peoples in, within this land. Uh, my, my dissertation was looking at those relations in uh, Florida uh, back during uh, territorial uh, days when the U.S. came in and the, the, uh, the resistance of African and Native American peoples uh, during the so-called Second Seminole War. I say so-called because uh, General Chesham said, you know, this is an African war, this is an, an Indian war. Um, but those deep and long-standing relationships that are now under, I would say, uh, you know, increasing stress over economic, social issues, um, you know, kind of, uh, shall we say, the predominating uh, structure of racism is being played into. And uh, I just uh, wondered, wondered if our uh, panel could make some comments about how to foster these side conversations so that it's not always, you know, going back to this, uh, you know, privileged center and that kind of conversation. And I, I think it's uh, so important and uh, very pleased to have uh, this uh, work going on here. So thank you. Thank you for your question. Sounds like it's a good question for Ray and Ann. Well, Richard, first of all, thank you for raising that important uh, uh, insight. I, I began by, you know, uh, by suggesting that you're really by following your lead and saying that really not side conversations. We 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 need to uh, position those conversations make them more central, I think, you know, and really was leading us very much in that direction, and I'd love to hear from her as well, so that we begin to speak from uh, a very different perspective and how, how uh, we relate you know, people who have uh, been traditionally uh, and historically dehumanized in many ways, begin to speak to one another without speaking through historically dominant vehicle. Uh, I think it begins by talking about those relationships, uh, honestly, uh, openly. And I, I actually think Anne started that. Uh, I feel like we're getting overbalanced here. we got three people with experience at Princeton Theological <laughs> Seminary. <laughs> I'm going to apologize. Also, Richard is one of the three of us here from T.K. Wolf today. Um, I, I think it's always all our community work because we know people and we work with people. It's, I mean, I look at out here and there's such dear faces and I wonder how with these good people here in this room, we could all have a wonderful world right now. Uh -huh. uh, but it, it really is ongoing relationships. And it, it's, I'm glad you asked us to talk about our life experiences because as I continue to unfold my life, I thought, yeah, I learned that there and then this came here. And, I learned that um, the former Princeton Seminary uh, minister for the Cherokee, also, uh, James LaPorte, and really? someone mentioned today the overlap of Irish and Scottish uh, with Indians. Um, so we all have people in our lives. Sometimes it's brief 
especially if sometimes it's a longer period of time, but we can learn so many lessons from, from the people that we're with and the 